What's going on, y'all? Forward Fabi Man, Bit Boss Fabo, back again with a video for the channel. I'm doing a reaction to Here's What We Know About Main Mass Shooting Suspect. New details are emerging about 40 year old Robert Card. Suspect authorities said left at least 18 and 13 injured in Lewiston, Maine. So, ABC News mentions that, you know, authorities have begun to identify victims in the mass shooting. That occurred Wednesday night. The shooting was at a bowling alley in the local bar and restaurant, according to the police. Seven people were killed at Justin Time Rec Rec Recreation, a bowling alley formerly known as Spare Time, and eight people were killed on a bill billiards room. Excuse me, at Shemingy's Bar and Grill restaurant. An additional three died at the hospital. Authorities said during a press conference on Thursday. So we're gonna be watching CNN. It's a CNN reaction. Get more insight and context to this shooting, man. Prayers out to those that lost their lives and the family members, man. Uh, yeah, this one actually occurred last night, as they're stating. And these these mass shootings. A lot of people said it's just common nature of the world we live in today. Uh, a lot of people say that you know there's so many so many frequent talks about the subject because we live in a social active world to where everything goes viral and everything's posted. So I don't know. Let me know y'all thoughts on that one in the comment section down below. What do y'all think? I do have a trending playlist link provided in the description as well as pinned in the comment section down below. Let's get into the video. We're following the breaking news out of Maine where a mass shooter is on the loose. His former colleague just told CNN, this is new information we're getting, told CNN that he is a skilled marksman and outdoorsman who was among the best shooters in his Army Reserve unit. CNN's Tom Foreman is tracking everything we know about this manhunt. Tom, what can you tell us about the area that law enforcement is, is searching right now? Well, I can tell you, Dana, that it is growing by the hour. Remember, this was 7 o'clock last guy. night when this all started, according to authorities. We're now at least 15 hours and change beyond that. And we know that it started in a relatively limited location. Just in time recreation up here, that's the bowling alley. Schmingy's Bar and Grill restaurant. This is only about four miles apart. But then, pretty soon, it expanded out here to this area where the vehicle was found. That's about eight miles from the town, so now we're in a position where they're, they're really having to look wider and wider, potentially, depending on when he's moving. Think about what you just said about what this person may know here. If we, if we look at the suspect, Robert Card, certified firearms instructor, member of the U.S. Army Reserve, made threats to carry out a shooting at National Guard facility earlier on, according to authorities, and reporting mental health issues. And These are the things, though, like they always talk about when you see people making certain posts reported to the authorities, people make posts like this on Facebook. Uh, and the point being is like if authorities find out after the fact because they do research, they try to understand what occurred, how did it even lead up to this point? You know, what was the motive? But um, I think that there should be strict, I guess, uh, guidelines or reprimands associated with posting stuff on social media because i mean hey freedom of speech say whatever it is you know freedom to kind of express yourself but i think in the, the day and age we live in you can't take that stuff lightly somebody makes a threatening post investigate them now i'm not sure if the authorities have the resources to always do that practically probably not but because i think a lot of times you can catch these guys before they even do something including hearing voices. If you look at all of that, you combine it with that information you just reported there, the idea that this is somebody who may know the outdoors very well, who may be very skilled at this, you understand how this uh, it's shooting, this really changes the approach that law enforcement has to take to him. They're always going to go into cases like this moving as quickly as they can, but look at the terrain around here. Maine is one of the least populated states in this country. I've been up in this area. This is all an awful lot of rural area, an awful lot of wooded areas where pursuing someone is very different than it is in an urban environment. Authorities largely are saying to people to stay locked down, but think about the distances we talked about before. Eight miles in here, they've locked down all the schools down here in Portland. They've told kids to stay home. They've closed them. As they should. Because this is expanding by the hour. How they will track him down in this environment, remember the Androscoggin River runs right through here. If he has access to a watercraft of any type, he can come straight down and go right out through here. Many, many ways he can move away from this. And I will tell you this, Dana, uh, one of the challenges for law enforcement is 
because they don't know where he is, the search area itself, again, by the hour gets more complicated. If he got into a different car after he got rid of that other car that he had uh, a short while ago, if he got into a different car than the one that they found at one location out here, if he got into a car and started heading at highway speeds and just went in one direction, he could easily be well beyond Cleveland, Ohio at this point. Does that happen very often? Doesn't seem to, but it certainly could, and it complicates the equation for all these authorities looking for this man who they say should be seen as armed and dangerous. And it under makes you understand why so many communities far away from this are paying attention and actually should. Dana? They should indeed. Thank you so much. So I guess the new update is that he's his house has been surrounded, authorities closed in on him, something like that. I don't know. Let me know if y'all know. Comment down below. Um, but I don't know how long was he actually leading him on this manhunt or this spree. You know, comment down below. Yeah. For that, Tom, joining me now is Maine Senator Angus King, who's also the state's former governor. Thank you so much for being here. I know that you have been meeting this morning with the current governor and other officials there, including law enforcement. What can you tell us at this moment about Robert Card, this suspect? Buddy crazy. Who, of course, I mean, is come on, armed I and I dangerous. I, I don't think I can add much to the uh, reporting that you've already had, Dana, that uh, uh, he is armed and dangerous. It was interesting last night on all the, the press reports, he was referred to as a person of interest. This morning, he's referred to as a, as a suspect. Uh, warrants have been issued for his arrest for murder. Uh, so uh, that, and, and you, you've covered all the, the mental health, uh, the Army Reserve, the the skill with a gun, but Dana, there's a very important context point here, and you were you were talking about it a few minutes ago. Ironically, on Monday, the FBI designated Maine the safest state in the country, and although we have a very high percentage nowhere of gun safe, ownership bro. in the state, one of the highest in the country. Nowhere in the country in the world is safe. Safe. That word is so. It's such a gray area. What does that even mean? You're safe? Nah, bro. That doesn't exist nowadays. Everybody needs to be on P's and Q's at all times. Now, I'm not saying walk on eggshells, but what I am saying is stay on point. Mandatory. I think the last figures I saw, we were the second lowest in the country. So that's why this incident is so shocking. Uh, as I say, we were the second lowest in the country until last night. And this is because Maine has a tradition of firearm ownership and use. And all of a sudden, we've got one individual out of 1.3 yeah. million who has uh, just terrified this region. Terrified, indeed. And, and again, uh, Josh Campbell earlier made this point, and I want to emphasize there, there is no desire, I have no desire, nobody does, to stigmatize mental health. But the fact that this individual this uh, what, had sought treatment the fact that this individual, in addition to that, we are now learning from his uh, people who know him from the Army Reserves, is a very skilled marksman. I mean, that combination right. is quite, quite scary. What well, you're, you're <laughs> Yeah, it is. I think they're doing the best they can, ma'am. Absolutely right, and, and it's a question of connecting the dots. And uh, the question, and I'm sure there'll be a lot of review of this and a lot of analysis. Was there something missed? Was he uh, deemed a danger to himself or someone else? There's a there's a tricky moment here, though, Dana, because there are a lot of people in this country that for whom owning firearms is is important. And if you say if you go in for a mental health checkup or if you uh, commit yourself for some mental health treatment that will then result in your losing your right to, to, to bear arms, yeah. then people aren't going to, a lot of people are going to say, I'm not going in for that checkup, which is the opposite of what we want. So yeah, I understand this is that. A, a very challenging area. And, and the problem we've got here now is, Dana, that, Dana, that we're, we want to move from fear to grieving, but we're still, uh, we're still looking for this guy. And, and as you say, as you point out, we've got schools closed, the two colleges in the vicinity are both on lock. So it looks like they're obviously doing the best they can to apprehend Buddy. But like I said, I think the most recent update is that they closed in on him, if not are closing in on him currently. So 
Comment down below. Let me know y'all's thoughts on this whole situation. Like I said, you know, what is it? The, the normal we live in or is it just uh, more consistently exposed? Uh, you know what I'm saying? So much love, peace, love, prosperity. Everybody rocking with the channel. Uh, definitely see you guys uh, in the next video, man. We out.